Greetings. This is Seth, and um, here's your manifold. We got the um, flashback arrestor in today. There's what it looks like, and um, we just put a quarter inch nipple on here to fit it to the uh, solenoid valve, and we just tested it out, and it works beautifully. And so what's probably going to happen is that we're going to remove this um, for shipping because it doesn't fit too well in the uh, in the crate that we have that we had built. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to just want to put some uh, Teflon tape around there, and then just take this. and hand screw it in if I'm doing it the right way. Right. And that should work very well for you. And then with the oxysorb, so your oxysorb looks like this. And uh, we've kind of designed this copper tubing to give you some flexibility when you uh, put a new one in or exchange your old one. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take this and um, screw this down onto this nut. I guess you call it a nut. You screw it down there and then you'll have a needle inside which will puncture the aluminum. And then you'll essentially want to take this and do the same thing up here. Just screw it down and this will puncture the aluminum here. And you'll have your handy dandy oxysorb. Make sure your O-rings look something like this. You will have all the O-rings uh, provided. You don't have to worry about it. Everything is going to be set up. Yeah. But uh, anything else I forgot to cover? No, I think everything is clear. All right. All right. So just the two main things is the uh, flashback arrestor and the oxysorb. You're just going to have to do that yourself. Basically everything else is uh, is done for you, but it's really simple stuff. So don't worry about it. It'll take you two minutes tops. So thank you, Seth. Enjoy your new manifold.